Hello from Tel Aviv. I'm Yochai Nadan. I'm Mata Shachar. And I'm Saviona Kramer. And we're part of the supervisors of the Barkai Institute of Family, Couple and Narrative Therapy, which is a clinical and training center for the past 35 years located in Tel Aviv, Israel. Our training program includes life supervision with a team behind a one-way mirror, which we call practicum. With the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, we had to find solutions to continue our commitment, seeing our families and go on with the training, and therefore decided to take the challenge and shift our life supervision training to Zoom, in which we named Practizum. In our article, you will find a detailed explanation of how we conducted our practice zooms involving, involving a family, a supervisee, two supervisors, and a team behind the virtual mirror, all geographically distributed, each one quarantined in their own homes. Based on over a hundred practice zoom sessions conducted between March and May 2020, involving 14 supervisors and 28 therapists in training and their clients, the article reflects on the pioneering online practicum. Our model of supervision can be located at the philosophical and theoretical junction of constructionism, narrative and collaborative approaches to therapy and supervision. Reflecting upon our experience, we can conclude that overall, after a short period of adaptation, our experience and that of our trainees has been very positive. Our general feeling has been that the quality of the therapy provided to families and the supervision provided to trainees had not been negatively impacted. One intriguing outcome of the transition to practice zone has been the change in the mode of communication with the trainees during the session from phone-ins to online WhatsApp text messages. We discovered that text messaging was preferred by most of the trainees and supervisors due to its empowering impact on the trainees, its contribution to maintaining flow and focus, and the fact that it was not experienced as, as impressive in contrast to the in-person practicum. Whereas Zoom's close-up view, similar to how you see us now, allows supervisors and team members to carefully observe the nuances and facial expressions of the supervisee as well as the family, it also limited our, their ability to observe family members' nonverbal cue, body language, and behavior, which in turn limited the repertoire of intervention. The transition to practice Zoom was more challenging for the supervisors in terms of their communication during the session, as it was sometimes difficult to facilitate due to the technicalities of the practice Zoom. As for the group dimension, most supervisors and trainees felt comfortable with the experience of group supervision. Interestingly, both supervisors and supervisees reported that the practice Zoom enriched the group discussions before, during, and after the session and increased the team's involvement primarily through the reading and writing of text messages during the session. To conclude, we believe there is no replacement for direct in-person interaction, and we continue to regard the in-person practicum as our preferred way of conducting therapy and supervision. Having said that, we have been pleasantly surprised by the effectiveness and the advantages of online life supervision, and we therefore believe that this practice might be a good alternative in cases where families, trainees, and supervisors are limited in their ability or even unable to meet in the same place for different reasons. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.